everybody, it's Karen here from tuppenscolor.co.uk and thank you very much for joining me for today's project which is uh, which is this little fan. Uh, now I've seen a lot of these on Pinterest and with it being uh, the summer at the moment and we've had some warm days I thought I would give it a go and as you can see it opens up, holds in place with a little hair elastic and it's very very quick and easy to make. So stay with me and I'll show you how it went together. These are the things that I'm going to be using today. I have some Delightful Daisy DSP and I am going to need the whole of the 12 by 12 sheet. I'm going to need all of it. Uh, as well as that, I have a little scrap of Calypso Coral card and it's three quarters of an inch and I'm going to cut it to three and three quarters of an inch. For the handles of my fan, I have two uh, craft sticks or lollipop sticks. They're the large size ones, and you can get these at the craft shop, usually in the children's section. And last of all, to make it all hold together, I have a little hair elastic. First thing I'm going to do is to score the DSP. Uh, now I've uh, set it up in my scoreboard and it is very important that if your paper has uh, a directional pattern like this piece does, then you want to set it up so that the pattern runs from the top to the bottom of your scoreboard and not from side to side. That's going to be important when you come to, uh, to join all your pieces together and to make the fan. I'm using the thick edge of my embossing tool and I'm going to score at one and a half inches and again at three inches, four and a half inches, six inches, seven and a half inches, nine inches, and ten and a half inches. And now I'm going to flip my paper over and I'm going to score in between those marks. I'm going to start at three quarters of an inch, then at two and a quarter inches, two and one fourth inches that is, three and three quarters of an inch, oops, slip there, five and a quarter, six and three quarters, eight and a quarter, nine and three quarters, and eleven and a quarter, and don't worry, I will put all of these measurements on my blog. Now I'm going to take my stamp and trimmer and I'm going to trim uh, this piece of paper. So I'm trimming it across the, the folds, okay? Uh, so it's not that easy to see with the paper this way up, but I am cutting, uh, I'm, I'm cutting across those fold lines. I've got them parallel to uh, the butt bar at the top and I'm measuring and cutting at four inches and then I'm going to cut again at four inches in just a second and then that gives me a three pieces of paper that are 12 inches uh, by four inches wide. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take those pieces and uh, I am going to fold them up in a concertina fashion. So uh, I'm going to speed this bit up and uh, I'll be back with you when I've finished all three pieces. <laughs> So I finished doing all my folding um, and I've lined my pieces of paper up so that the uh, the pattern is running in the same direction and none of the, the, the patterns are, are upside down or on the head. And now I'm going to put the three pieces together. Now when I was folding these pieces, I managed to get uh, two of the pieces with the, um, with the little V's pointing towards me and one piece with the point of the V pointing away uh, and that's actually quite a good thing to happen so try and arrange it that way if you can even if it means that you have to refold one piece so now I'm going to use my tear and tape and I'm going to stick these pieces together so I'm going to start by 
applying my tear and tape to the um, to the pink side of this piece. Now there's no uh, front and back with with these fans. Um, it just depends which side you looking you're looking at them from. So can't really say that one's the front and one's the back because they're both the front and they're both the back. So just gonna line that up with the next piece in the line. Okay, and I'm going to do the same at, uh, with the piece at the other end. And this time I'm going to put the tear and tape on the piece uh, that's going to go underneath. It's going to fit in to that, uh, that V piece at the top there. So again, just take the back off the tear and tape. And it comes off quite easily. I didn't need a... Uh, you know, I didn't need a, any sort of tool to do that. My my fingers were, were quite good enough. And just line those up. And there you go. Yeah, and it's worth taking a little bit of time to, to line everything up and make sure that it all fits together nicely. And now you have one long piece of uh, concertina paper. Next thing I'm going to do is take that piece of Calypso Coral card and I'm going to score it at uh, an inch and a half and then I'm going to flip it round and score it again at an inch and a half and I've used my stamping trimmer because I had it handy, scoreboard would have done just as well and now I've folded it up so I've got a U-shaped piece of card and next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some tear and tape along the along the back of that piece right the way from the top to the bottom now you want a good uh, adhesive on this part so as well as the tear and tape I'm going to get my uh, my liquid adhesive and I'm also going to run some of that along side my tape okay just like just like that. So the uh, the tape will give me the quick grab, but the liquid adhesive will give me a long lasting stick. And uh, it is very important that this bit sticks very well. So I'm just going to gather up the, um, the fan and make sure it's all nice and lined, lined up firmly, just like that. Whoops. And I'm going to hold it in place. Uh, I think with an elastic band would be good. Just one second. There we go. Got the, uh, the my little hair elastic. So I'm going to, to use that to keep all my folds together while I take the back off the tear and tape. And now I'm going to wrap that piece around one end of the fan. And again, if you've got a directional pattern, uh, and I've actually done it wrong here. I've actually uh, put it on at the wrong end. It probably would have been better at the other end, but uh, you know, nobody's going to mind, are they? I'm just going to make sure that that is sticking really well. And I'm going to put the elastic uh, around that piece to try and hold it. And I'm going to leave that to dry. So while that's having time to dry, I've put some tear and tape onto the uh, the lower part of that folded paper and I'm going to uh, apply some liquid adhesive uh, there as well and take off the backing and bring in my craft stick or lolly stick or whatever you like to call it and press that down and then I'm going to repeat that on the other side so a nice coating of liquid adhesive for the uh, for the long term adhesion and a bit of tape for the fast grab. So let's just stick that into place, and I'm going to move my elastic band down a little bit so that it uh, it puts a little bit of pressure on to the lolly sticks there, and I'm going to let that dry. I've given that plenty of time for the glue to dry and the, the longer you can leave it the better and in particular you need to be careful about this piece here you want to make sure that that is well glued onto the folds underneath it so now I'm just going to open up my fan 
and I'm just going to hold the two sticks in place with that elastic and there it is all ready to uh, to waft a cool breeze on a hot summer day so I hope that you've enjoyed this video and if so uh, I would love it if you would come back and see me again soon but for now thank you very much for joining me and uh, I hope I'll see you in the future bye bye